first things that patients should know about medical marijuana is that there is a difference between what you buy in a state licensed dispensary and what you can buy on the street. When you're getting a product uh, that's approved through the state of Pennsylvania, it's been reliably grown, they can guarantee what type of plant it is, and then they have to prove what chemicals are in that plant and what quantities. The way the state set up the program is there are currently um, 17 serious medical conditions which allow the patient to get the product and that list is actually now um, increased to 21 medical conditions. Everything from uh, neurologic degenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and multiple sclerosis, cancer pain, um, HIV, terminal illness, but also now for the newest indication which is um, uh, opioid addiction, some of the risks of taking the products. They're not for everybody. Um, patients with unstable heart disease or history of arrhythmia or trouble controlling blood pressure, um, these may not be the appropriate types of medications for them because they can have a little bit of effects in increasing blood pressure, increasing heart rate, and they can make people feel unsteady on their feet. To access it for patients, they would go and see a doctor. Um, first, they should start with always their primary healthcare uh, physician. But if they don't do certifications, they actually can look at the state website. And through the state website, they can get a list of all the doctors who will be able to certify them in their county or geographical area. My name is Christine Roussel. I am a pharmacist who's board certified in oncology. And I am assistant director of pharmacy at Doylestown Hospital.